Well, the queen comes off. So now Muckle needs a 9, 10, or a jack to win the pot. Anything else, and Sean Seller will double up. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT35 and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. Here we go. Final table about to get underway. Michael Pahoo's out in front with 6.4 million. Dylan Wilkerson in second place with 5.8 million. Big money on the line tonight. That's what they're playing for. The winner tonight takes home over $1,256,000. All right, let's get started. Andy's a 5,000, blinds a 25 and 50. Action on James Carroll. He's got an ace deuce, won't play that. Muckle Pahusha, not gonna play. Action on Nam Lee, who won this event eight years ago, trying to win it again. He is gonna raise it up in the cutoff position, 110,000. Garrett Greer now with a pair of nines with the button. He's the short stack tonight. On. And he's going all in. Yep. Now Sean Suller from Hawaii. Can't play that. Dylan out as well. Back to Nam Lee, one of the most respected players out on tour. He's going to let it go. So Garrett Greer, the 28-year-old from Newport Beach, California, taking down that pot. Known as GG, went to UCLA. Unfortunately, he was paralyzed in a pool accident. Actually broke his neck. Was in a coma for three days. He's been playing poker for 10 years. Oh, there you see Ryan Reese. Won the main event of the World Series of Poker last year. In the house tonight, rooting on his buddy Garrett Greer. All right, on to the next hand. Nam Lee with a big hand, ace king. We'll raise to 110 to go. Garrett Greer and Sean Suller out. Over to Dylan Wilkerson from San Mateo, California. He's out. James Carroll gone. Back to Muckle Pahuja, our chip leader. Looks down at a king 10. Muckle's been a pro for three years. A former financial analyst for a couple years. Majored in finance at Penn State. A very bright guy. Looks at a flop here. That might not be so bright for him. King, queen, deuce. He's got top pair, but he's out kicked. Namley, of course, with the ace king. Going to bet 125. And Muckle going to make the call. Going to the turn. It's a six of hearts. Three hearts on the board. Muckle checks. He's got top pair with the king of hearts. And Namley checks right behind him. And a fourth heart on the board now as the jack of hearts comes off. Muckle with the flush now has the best hand. Get running hearts to make a flush. He is reaching for chips, 245,000. Nam has got to be hating that right now. Doesn't have a heart. Flop the top pair with the ace kicker. This is very frustrating. But can he get away from it? Yes, he does. Nice lay down. Tough luck, he lost that pot, but Muckle Bahuja, our chip leader, increases his chip lead. We're just getting started here in San Jose at the Bay 101. We're coming back for more on the World Poker Tour. Okay, the Andes are up to 10,000, and the blinds are 30, 60 at this point. Here we go. Garrett Greer out of Newport Beach, California. Looks down, and an uneventful hand will fold that. Now Sean Seller from Hawaii has picked up a queen jack of hearts. He likes it, he'll raise it. Makes it 150 to go. Dylan Wilkerson out. James gonna go out as well. Around two, the chip leader, Muckle, and he's got a pair of eights. He's got that mid pair. What do you do with him? Guy raised in front of you, it's your turn. Do you re raise? Do you just call and see a flop? Let's see what Muckle does. Muckle making the call. Nam folds. The Hawaiian, Sean Suller, very superstitious guy, picks up jacks as a jack 4 3 hits the board. Muckle checks. 
And Sean will bet this, yes. 200,000. Well, you expect a guy to make a continuation bet with that flop. So Muckle's gonna make the call here. And now nine of hearts comes off. Now this gives Sean top pair and a flush draw. Again, Muckle checks. Check, check wow, surprisingly, Sean checks that hand on the turn. River cards are four pairing the board. Muckle's gonna check. You're now gonna bet your jacks for sure. Feeling certain that they're good. Yeah, he's betting 275. And that's the way this hand was played. I don't see how Muckle can get away from two eights here. You just can't imagine your opponent is gonna check top pair on the turn. And he's getting out calling chips. I don't blame him at all. I'd call two the way it was played. So Sean Solar taking down that pot. Much to the delight of local bounty, Pat Lyons, who's here rooting for Sean tonight. Oh, we're not in church, huh? Come on, guys, get loud. What are we doing here? A really fun kind of guy. Yeah, he was a shooting star here. All right, action's back on James Carroll. He quickly folds his hand. And now Muckle oh, yeah, has picked up a big hand. Pair way, of kings. As long as you can still see him. And he will raise with it. He makes it 125 to go. Nam Lee right behind him. Ace 10 of spade gonna make the call. Gary Creer. As I can remember when Nam was one of the young pups out here on tour. He's 33, the oldest player at this table. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. All right, all folding behind him. So two decent hands. Kings versus ace-10 of spades, and the flop is a 5-4-3. Action on Muckle. He is going to lead out and bet 175,000. Damn Lee with the two over cards, the backdoor flush draw, the gut shot straight draw, going to make the call. And the turn card is an eight of clubs. Muckle saying, well, he called me on the flop. Maybe he'll call me again. Muckle going to bet again with the overpair, 285,000. Namley's had enough. He'll fold the hand. So Muckle Pahuja from Coconut Creek, Florida, extends his chip lead right here tonight as six players remain. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT35 and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. All right, a quick fold by Garrett and also Sean Suller. And look at this, Dylan Wilkerson has picked up the weapons of mass destruction. The pair of aces... Well, that's shown great patience so far at this final table. This is what he's been waiting on. Two bullets, and he fires out 130,000. James Carroll behind him with a pair of eights. And he's got the mid pair, just gonna call with him. Uncle Pahuja with the suited connectors out of the small blind's gonna make the call. And look at this. Nam Lee gonna join the party with the ace 10. We have four way action here. What a party. There you see Dylan's eyebrows raised up. You're hoping to play against one guy when you have a big pair. Not necessarily three. Wow, what a pot brewing. And the flop is a 9-9 nine, nine deuce. Muckle checks. Checked Nam by checks. Muckle and Nam. Now Dylan. Oh, surprisingly, he's going to check that. And James Carroll going to get the chips out with the eights. He thinks he might be in front. He is wrong, but that's a 240,000 bet. Two folds now, Wilkerson. Just gonna call with the two aces. Very interesting. We're gonna go to the turn. It is a seven of clubs. Doesn't change much. And again, Dylan checking the aces. He's checking them. He's fearful that his opponent flopped three nines. And James is gonna bet again. And he's really gonna be fearful his opponent fires out again on the turn. This time, 380,000. And he's just gonna call it. Well, he's made the call again, so we're going to the river. 
Huge pot, over a million eight in this pot right now. And an ace on the river. Dylan Wilkerson has aces full. He is so happy right now. He is just hoping his opponent's got a nine and will fire again. Dylan is checked, trying to trap again. <laughs> And James now with not much of a hand. You'd think the caution lights would have to come on by now. Vince. Yeah, yeah, he's going to check it. Save some money. Wow. Oh, just okie dokie, ace is full. That's all his opponent's got. He's just sick of a shot of nine, right? <laughs> yeah. It's too good if you show nine. Yeah, right. All right, we have a new chip leader now. It is Dylan Wilkerson. Yeah, we still have six players, and Dylan Wilkerson is the chip leader right now with over seven million. Muckle now with 6.5 million. Action on Dylan, he's gonna raise with his ace nine. Makes it 1.30 to go. Well, this is the third cash this season for Dylan. He's looking for a title tonight, though. Everyone folding behind him, and now it's on Gary Greer, who has a nice little pair of tens. On. And he's moved all in with him. I don't blame him. The Hawaiian going out. Like 1.2 something. It's worth the 1.2? Dylan. He will go away as well. Dylan just got the chip lead. Doesn't want to blow back a million more there. Garrett Creer taking down the pot. Garrett's made about 316,000 worldwide earnings. Okay, there you see. Dylan Wilkerson out in front with about 7 million. Michael Pahuja in second place, 6.5 million. In sixth place right now. Very short on chips. Doesn't even have 10 times the big blind. Namely. Okay, Muckle with a quick fold. Namely not playing. And Gary Greer now with a pair of eights. Quite a player. This time he's got another wired pair. How will he play it? 120. Makes the men raise to 120 with the two eights. Sean going away. Dylan Wilkerson now with a pair of nines. Dylan Wilkerson, I think, has played the best out of anybody I've, I've seen in this tournament so far. I feel like he personally has has owned me this tournament. He's played pretty flawlessly, in my opinion. Well, he could own you again right here. He's got you out pipped. Two nines versus two eights. Dylan's going to raise it to 305,000. Well, James Carroll in a big blind, a intriguing hand. I'm sure he'd like to see a flop with, but not want to spend three bet in front of him. He's got King, Queen of Hearts. He's 27 years old from. Massachusetts, he's going to fold this hand, though. So back around to Garrett. All in. And he's going to shove all in. Garrett has to all in. Good luck. He's gone all in and called here. Well, Garrett thrilled to make this TV final table because he finished seventh on the TV bubble last year at the LAPC. Yeah. He finished eighth this season at Legends. He's come close. He's made it here, but now in dire straits with two eights against two nines. Oh, boy, we got a good showdown here. If the snowmen melt, Garrett Greer will be our sixth place finisher. He is a big dog right now. Karen Garrett get lucky. Here's the flop. Not there. Jack 6-4 hits. He's going to have to hit an eight or two runners to make a straight. Otherwise, Garrett Greer is going to be out in sixth place. Big turn card for the chip leader, Dylan. And it's a nine of diamonds. It's over. Well, a nine comes off. That means Garrett Greer is drawing dead. No card can come off or he'll win the pot. So that's going to do it for Garrett Greer. He's going to be our sixth place finisher. That is right, my Garrett Greer. He's been cashing a lot lately. A fine player from Newport Beach. He's going to go back to the beach, take it home, 174000 over to talk to Matt Savage. Garrett, I knew it was your goal to make a WPT final table, and you made it. Did it live up to ex expectations? I mean, I'm very happy that I made the final table, but it hurts, man. You know, I came back and made nothing more than what I was guaranteed. <laughs> you know, I've gotten an eighth, a seventh, and a sixth, so I guess uh, bank on fifth next time, guys. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Garrett. I appreciate it, man. Lynn, back to you. Five players playing for a title tonight at over 1.2 million. Let's go down to the felt. Dylan Wilkerson. Our chip leader at this point looks at an ace five. Keeping me honest. Dylan will be third. He's going to raise it up under the gun here. And now James Carroll right behind him. Quick fold by him. Muckle out. And Nam Lee will not play. Around to the Hawaiian. Sean Suller. He's got king ten. He likes his hand. He's going to call. He's in the big blind, so he's got money invested. Opts to take a flop, and here it comes. Well, Jack 10-4, so Sean moves out in front. 
With the two tens, he's going to check. And now Dylan with no continuation bet going to check as well. Oh, good feel by Dylan there that his opponent might have hit a jack or a 10 there. Six on the turn. Here comes the Hawaiian. He's made two final tables this Sean Seller. He's going to bet 250,000. And Dylan wants no piece of that. So Sean Seller, a former insurance professional. We're going to have laryngitis before we're done here. No more voice. We're buying drinks for the, for the, for the staff over there. Come on, this is too much fun. And there is the life of the party. That's Pat Lyons. Yeah, he was actually a bounty in this event himself, Fence. In his 33rd, and he's having a good time here tonight. The rest of this table is pretty quiet. A very serious, intense mode tonight, Vince, and why not? They are playing for serious money tonight. Right now, Nam Lee in a serious position. He's got ace three on the short stack. Looks like he is ready to play. Yes, he's going to fire all in. Well, Vince, you have to. He's only got like seven big blinds left. Sean out. Dylan out, and now James Carroll will make this call with the fives, though. So Nam getting action, and he's a dog at this point. James very happy to see Nam's hand there. The ace three. Only the ace has the overcard. Crowd on its feet. Nam Lee just a shell of himself tonight because he just doesn't have any chips. In prayer mode, as you can see, knows he must win this pot to stay alive, to win this tournament for a second time. Not lucky on the flop for Nam as a queen, jack, deuce hits. Well, Nam needs to hit an ace, two runners to make a straight, two diamonds to make a flush, but needs help. No doubt about it. Here comes the turn card. Will it help? No. A deuce pairs the board. And once again, down to the river, Nam must catch an ace to survive. An ace on the river. Can he do it? Can Nam get lucky? No, it's a 10 of clubs on the river. Wrap it up for our WPT champion, Nam Lee. The ever classy Nam Lee out tonight in fifth place. Nam Lee, a WPT champion, bites the dust here at Bay 101. Gonna take home 225,000. He's going over to talk to executive tournament director, Matt Savage. Nam, you never really got anything going tonight. Uh, does it feel good to be back at the final table on the WPT? Oh, yeah, I mean, it definitely does. Anytime you're here playing for uh, a lot of money, it sucks not to win, but you can't really <laughs> complain. You, either way, you, you make a good amount of money. Well, you were the crowd favorite tonight, and uh, we're happy to have you back in San Jose. Oh, yeah, anytime. Right. He's on his way, but right now, action on Dylan, former chip leader. He's going to fold, as does James Carroll, and now Muckle with just an eight deuce of spades. Yeah, certainly not much of a hand, but because he's got more chips than Sean, maybe he tried to boss him around a little bit. Yeah, makes it 400,000, but a quick call by Sean with Queen Seven of Hearts. Now yeah, flop is ace, ace, four. No help to either player, but Muckle going to make the continuation bet, put a lot of pressure on Sean here. And it's going to work. Sean has to go out. And Muckle's an interesting guy. He says he's usually happy-go-lucky. He likes the kid guys at the table, have fun. And have a little bit more energy if you're ones to watch. Now there is Aaron Massey, one of our ones to watch season 12. Yeah, right now he's watching this final from the rail, wishing he was sitting there at the table like the rest of us, as these four guys fighting it out for this title and the $1.25 million that goes with it. Around we go. We started this event with 718 entries. Dylan this time with ace high. Looking around, doesn't feel it. He's gonna let that one go. Over to James, he's out as well. Now over to Muckle. 9-10, he's taking his time. He's only gotta beat Sean now. On. He's going to go all in with it. Uh, he's just going to try to put pressure on Sean. Call. Sean looks down at the two dudes and quickly calls. Oh, uh, yeah, two overs. Uh. Well, Muckle was just splashing around, thought he could power him out. Not to be. Now we got a race. Here we go. Deuces up against 9 10. Well, I'm not in favor of a guy calling his money off of two deuces. One thing to bet it, another thing to call it, but so far so good for him. King 7 4, so Sean out in front. The duck's still quacking. 
Well, the queen comes off. So now Muckle needs a 9, 10, or a jack to win the pot. Anything else, and Sean Seller will double up. If that big card comes from Muckle, Sean will be out of here. Back to Hawaii. And the last card is a six. Well, the ducks are quacking for Sean Seller. He has doubled up. Deuces. Well, obviously, he's wearing the jersey with two twos on it, so it must be lucky for him. That's why he played the deuces. I can't imagine any other reason you're playing, Vince. No hand you're going to be favored over. So Sean from Hawaii gives Muckle the old Hawaiian punch. Let's go to the felt. Dylan Wilkerson now with a pair of eights. He's worked his way back to about six million in chips. He's going to raise this to 400,000. James out. Muckle out as well, but Sean will be going nowhere with the King Ten of Hearts and the Big Blind. He calls the raise, going to see a flop. Got some more chips now, huh? Yes, he does. One way or another. Yeah. Here come the first three. A queen nine five flop. Sean with the gut shot straight draw is going to check. Dylan with the best hand at the moment, two eights. He's going to bet. No free cards, betting 350. Sean will stick call. around and pray. He's going to make the call. To Fourth Street we go. A tennis spade comes off, so Sean now makes two tens, has the best hand, but scared of that board. Mm -hmm. He checks it. Check Dylan down. checking behind him. Down to the river. It's a jack of spades. Well, both players have made a straight. Sean the high straight, Dylan the low straight, but four spades on the board. Doesn't seem to scare Sean. He leads out for 400,000. Now Dylan's in. What's this guy got? Does he really have a spade? If he doesn't, my straight might be good. Maybe he's just bluffing. Tough to call this without a spade, though. Call. Oh. But he is going to make the call. Straight. His opponent shows him a king eye straight and is going to win the pot. Dylan's got to be confused by that. Well, there you go. Oh, look at that's a the Hawaiian sign. It's aloha, aloha, aloha. There we go. There we go. There we go. A lot of Hawaii in here tonight. They like this guy, Sean Suller. Only been playing poker for a few years. Got on the plane, saw a shooting star, Mike, before. He said, that's my destiny. I'm going to win this tournament. Now, look at this. Muckle Pahusha has gone all in. He's on the short stack with Queen 8. He's been whittled away. Now, Sean's got ace deuce. He is running good. Yep, he's going to make this call. He's just going to try to eliminate Muckle right here, right now. Everybody else out, so they show the hands. Muckle certainly due for a break after that horrid beat he took a minute ago. Let's see if he can get one here. I agree. <laughs> he said he likes to spend time at home with the wife and the dog. That's hey, where he'll be going if he doesn't get lucky. Well, there's a dog right now, but here come the first three cards. It's a queen jack eight. He's flopped two pair, and he's well out in front. He's got to like that. Well, a massive favorite now, about 19 to 1 to win this pot. Oh, yeah. The Muckle fans loving it. His brothers going to the turn card. Three of hearts. That's going to wrap it up. And Muckle needed a little luck. Well, he got some there as he doubles up to stay alive. His contingent very happy about that. So four players sticking around. James <laughs> Carroll, a great online professional player, out in front with nine million. Sean from Hawaii, 6.3. <laughs> Three out of these four players in strong condition to become the WPT Player of the Year. Whoever wins this tournament, other than James Carroll, will take the lead in the Player of the Year status. Okay, onto this hand, Sean folding. And now Dylan will raise with a queen 10. Yeah, Dylan finished second in the Falls View Tournament in Canada earlier this season. It's his third cash this season. James mucks the pair of deuces, kind of surprising. But Muckle with an ace queen, he's pushed all in. Call. And Dylan's going to call it. So Muckle has him dominated again. This time it's ace queen versus queen 10. And surely Muckle can't lose another pot where he's got his opponent dominated. Can know. he? One more break, huh? One more break. The flop. Ace, King, Jack. 
Dylan Wilkerson has flopped the best hand possible right now. Well, even Dylan's sort of apologetic. He knows how much he's outdrawn this guy. He took A7, he beat Ace King on the river. Now he's taking Queen 10. Spade and everything. Against Ace Queen and out flopped him. I might get this shot. Turn the ends. Eight on the turn. Muckle in a heap of trouble. I'll tell you, that's like a left and a right from Tyson in his prime that's right great. there. Coming up, Mike. No, seven of hearts. Well, that is just horrid luck right there for Muckle Pahuja. Vance, I don't remember seeing anybody take consecutive bad beats with four players left like this guy did. Pretty rough. Muckle going to take home 320,000. He's a great player. He's punchy right now. Over to talk to Matt Savage. Amazing run this week. Obviously, you're in a very good position for Player of the Year. How motivated are you to win that for, for this season? I'm, re I'm very motivated to win the Player of the Year. I mean, uh, one of these two guys, I believe, maybe it'll overtake me or tie me. So now I have my work cut out for me. I'm rooting for James, obviously. But uh, you know, I'm going to play pretty much every event between now and the championship. Hopefully, get after. Well, obviously, a great week. More money to the bankroll. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, guys. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT35 and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. Blinds are 1 in 200. Andy's a 25. James Carroll, first to play here with an ace-10, makes it 400,000. Sean with Queen Jack makes the quick call. And not even Dylan can play this hand, I don't think. Throws the seven deuce away. Queen Jack versus ace 10. And the flop is a king four deuce. Well, no help to either player. And it goes check, check. Well, now a jack comes off. This gives Sean the best hand with two jacks. He is going to check. Well, James didn't make the continuation bet on the flop. Now he bets here on the turn with a gut shot straight draw when he's beat. Sean kind of feels it, makes the call. He's in front. Down to the river we go. And it's a queen. Oh, my. Look at that card. Uh, oh, my is right because Sean has made two pair, but his opponent has made the nut straight, the ace high straight. Sean's going to check. And, of course, James with the nuts. That's 1,375,000. You've got to pay this off, that's oh, for sure. This, he is going to raise here, it looks like. Raise? Oh, no. Oh, no. Raise. Well, you're not going to really get called unless you're beat. Uh, um, I raise all in. Oh. Yeah, call, call. All in and called. Sean had a great week, but blanked out just a little on that last hand, I think. Yeah, the nut straight. Boom. Well, that's going to do it for Sean Seller to Hawaiian. Aloha. Out oh, shoot. Wow. That was a cooler. That was a cooler. Calabongo for Sean. Taking home 477000 He's over to talk to Matt Savage. Fourth at five diamond. Third here. We seem to be going in the right direction. I think so. I think so. We, we shot for the stars today. Gave it a good run. It was a valiant effort. What could I say? <laughs> This time, action on Dylan. He's got ace high, ace five. Min raise makes it 500,000 to go. Man, if the guy wins the pot with six threes, why not play the six fours? Right, splash around, and good luck. Here we are. It's a four, nine four, do so. James out flopping Dylan again. He checks. Well, Dylan gonna make the continuation bet. He does have the wheel draw, the gut shot straight draw. It's a half a million dollar bet. It looks like another check raise by James Carroll, and that's exactly what it is. And Dylan's going to be saying to himself, you got to be kidding me. This guy can't hit every single flop. Every time I bet the flop, he raises me. Dylan is making this call, hoping to hit the three, but no, it's a deuce, pairs the board. Now well, action's on James. And he checks. All in. Wow, he is pushing all in. He's going to try to bluff for all his money. And it actually could work. It's a hefty bet. It's 
and the tournament on the line. Usually players don't bluff off all their money this kind of bet when they don't have something pretty strong arrow out in front. This could be a really bad call. <laughs> Well, James even laughing about it. Could be a really bad call here. It could be a great one that gets him the title, Vince. That would be incredible. Good call. What a call by James Carroll. These guys fight for every pot. He's got the best hand if he can dodge an ace three or a five. He'll be the champion. Dylan even sort of salutes him for making that call. Unfortunate river for you, though. Top 10 calls of the season, no doubt about it. He is one card away from becoming a WPT champion at Bay 101. Oh. He's hit a river card already once tonight. Can he do it again? No. Does it happen? James Carroll is our champion. And Vince, you got to say, the guy deserved this title. You, you said it all along. He played the best poker at the table. His luck finally paid off. He gets congratulated by his friends and his girlfriend, Brittany. But right now, let's go over to Matt Savage, who's talking to our runner-up, Dylan Wilkerson. Dylan, two final tables, two second place finishes. Does it hurt to come so close? Of course. <laughs> of course it hurts. Uh, it's never fun to get second. But um, I guess it's better than many of the alternatives, so, you know, nothing I can really do. Yeah, the money has to help. Over $700,000 for your second place finish here. Congratulations. Thank you. Fantastic job. Well done. How about your railbirds here? They're pretty lucky for you. Yeah, it's been really <laughs> great. <laughs> okay, Lynn, back to you. <laughs>